So today I'll be showing you how to do a DI2 upgrade from either mechanical or on a new build. I'll be doing it with 9070 Durace Shimano DI2 on my Cervelo P5. So let's get started on what we need. I'll link in the description all the product codes for what you need here. I've opted for the 9070 Durace for this build. However, the new 8050 or 9150 DI2 is compatible with all this stuff here as well. So first and foremost you're going to need your basic components. Rear derailleur, ceramic speed jockey wheel on it, the front derailleur, brazon obviously, your bar and time trail shifters, I'm going to go the two button ones, however they do have the new synchro shift one button ones which are pretty cool. And because I'm doing this on the Cervelo with Magura brakes, which I really like, I won't have the actual two-button satellite shifter brakes, but if you're doing it on any other bike, I would recommend getting them because they are a really good option. Next item you'll need is two junction boxes. This is the junction box A, a three-port junction box because I don't have the satellite shifters. If you do have the satellite shifters, you're going to need the five ports. That will go up inside my stem and this is the little trim button here. Next you're going to need junction box B. This has two ports in, two ports out, connects the rear derailleur, front derailleur, the battery and then also the cable that will head up towards the stem. That will sit down at your bottom bracket. Four DI2 E-tube wires. I've gone for two 350s a 750 for the rear derailleur and a 1200 to go from the stem down to the junction box B. Next you're going to need a battery system. Now once again because I'm running the Cervelo they have this pouch down near the bottom bracket which the battery sits inside hence why I'm using this old external one. If you were using a newer system without that I'd recommend going to the new BTDN110 Bluetooth compatible battery shown here. I'd also recommend getting the little ANTM Bluetooth broadcaster. This will allow you to adjust all your shifting from your phone and see data in live time on your Garmin. You will need the special internal battery charger which plugs into junction box A for this however. Let's remove all your old components. Make sure you save one of these shifter cables. I'll show you how to route your DI2 cables with one of these, courtesy of Joey Messer. I will link his video in the comments as well. So to route these cables, we're gonna get a brake ferrule. We're gonna run that through a shifter cable. We're then gonna get a cable crimp. You're gonna chop the end off of that cable crimp round off the crimp so the cable can actually come back through it. Now also thread this through your shift cable here. So you'll have this right here. Now we're going to crimp this hair off. Now with this 5mm brake cable ferrule we can grab our DIT E-tube cables, push them directly in the end there and that's what's going to actually route our cable through the frame without losing them inside. So with that cable router that you've just made, before you remove existing shifter cable, feed this through here so you've got a guide that's already going to be running directly through the frame. Now from here we can remove this existing out of shift cable. Now if your bike doesn't have an access panel like mine does, you'll need to remove the bottom bracket that way you'll be able to get a hold of the cables that are being fed down. We're going to grab our 1200mm cable here, connect it into the actual cable router that we've just made. And we're going to start feeding this one through the frame. And then I'm going to pull it out of the battery box that the Cervelos have down here. And that will be our main cable run from junction A to junction B. Repeat the same, threading the guide through where the rear derailleur will be. 
I use a strong earth magnet on this end to catch that actual cable. That way I don't lose it in the frame and I can pull it out. We're now going to pull the rear derailleur through. The front derailleur is really simple on this bike. It simply just has to go through this hole. That's now the three main cables. Now we're just going to hook the battery up. I'm now going to connect the front derailleur and the rear derailleur into the junction box B here. Next I'll hook the cable that's going up to junction box A and my final cable that's going to the battery. We're now right to put the junction box inside the frame there and tuck it away for good. For Savella's sake they were forward thinking enough to have this battery compartment where my external battery will slot into here housing will go over it and all will be hidden. So if you're running an internal battery or when I upgrade, I'll be installing my battery in my seat tube. I'll be running around a 500mm length e-tube cable down into junction box B down here. For my application, rather than mounting the Bluetooth module up here where it can potentially rattle around in the frame, I'll run the cable down into it sitting it right down near the bottom bracket where it's nice and secure you'll have a small cable that's included that will come out of the Bluetooth unit and that will connect into junction box B we can now attach the front and rear derailers the front derailleur cable the e tube hooks in here wraps around the side clips into this back cable and then goes in through that hole so it keeps it nice and neat. If they're a bit tricky to get in like that, you can get a set of pointy nose pliers or there is a special tool. Attach your bar end shifters, cable guide through the extensions, plug your cable in and thread it through. Cable just slots into this little groove here, locks into place and fastens up by that little bolt. It's now time to grab our junction box A. We connect that into our DI2 cable coming out of our frame. Clip that into our two shifter cables or four cables if you're running the satellite shifters on the base bar. And depending on where you're going to hide your junction A, in my case it will be inside the stem, fold the wires up nice and neatly so they can't get pinched and tuck it away. Now if you were running satellite shifters, run the cable through the base bar here. Now where I have my three port junction box, you'd have another two female ends here. Plug your male ends into there, one, two. Replace left and right. And that's your DI2 build done. As you can see, rear derailleur works perfectly. Front derailleur, beautiful.